Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series on the SP404 Mark II, where I cover a topic in about five minutes. Tape Pusher wrote in asking if there is a way to sync a loop with BPM sync to uh, instead of the project to the bank tempo, and there absolutely is a way to do this. So I'll show you a few things to just show you how it works and all that. But first up, I'm just going to load up a sample. So let's go shift pad 14, import SD, sample. We're going to scroll down to sample packs. I've got this dreadnought DNB. Let's go to uh, X1T wave loops. Let's go drum loops. And yeah, that sounds fine. We'll just grab this high energy loop. And we know it says it's 174 BPM. So this just makes it easier for us to set the BPM instead of having to go through and hope that the SP404 Mark II gets it right. And usually it does not. <laughs> so, whoops, did not mean to go into the skip back. Um, so pitch speed, we're going to come in. We're here. We're, we want to be on manual. I'm just going to push on the enter knob. And if you spin the value knob really fast, it'll go up in higher or larger increments. And the slower you go, it will go in smaller increments. So I'm just going to spin it really fast just to jump up. We want to get to 174, but I went past it. It's okay. We'll just go a little bit slower. So we've now set our BPM to 174, which is fine. It's not actually changing it because we don't have BPM sync on yet. But if we hit BPM sync, you can hear it's playing and we will exit out. Why is, it, why is it saying 172? Uh, let's go back in. Um, that's probably the BPM it's playing based on the project we're on. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna go shift, I'm gonna hit tap tempo. Let's say I go to 90. Yeah, you can hear it. Now it's playing slower. And the reason why it's doing this is it can only, or it, maybe it can go lower, but it chooses to, or the way it's implemented in the SP404 Mark II is if it can only go down up to a half and then it will half the BPM speed. So 174 divided by two is 87. So we can go 90, 89, 88, even 87, it's still playing correctly. But when we go to 86, it's now going to go double it. And 172 is double 186. So it is choosing to basically play it back up at the normal speed and then bringing it down a teeny tiny bit to adjust it to get it to run in tempo sync. It's just how the SP404 Mark II works. Um, so just as a note for you guys that are doing this. Anyway, the question though was, how do you sync to bank instead? So if you're in this menu, you go shift and tap tempo. The only thing you need to do to switch which bank you're syncing to is rotate C1 to tempo select whether you're on project or bank syncing. So just to show you, like we can go all the way up to 200 and we can slowly back down wherever we want to go for BPM. So if you want your banks to, each bank to have a different BPM, you can absolutely do this. And again, if you want to use projects just so that everything is syncing to the same BPM, then instead you can switch to project. And you can do this at will when you're in the tap tempo. The only other thing that I think I'll just point out for people that don't know since we're here and I got a few more minutes, on the video that I can do before I go over, maybe even one minute. Anyway, go to pitch to speed, pitch and speed, hold shift down, and you can see we're on vinyl, which is forcing the speed and pitch to be the uh, related to each other. We can turn that off. And now, even though we're synced to that BPM that we have, we can use the pitch to play these drums at a different pitch from the speed. So, and you'll also know, like, notice that there's the vary, the, I forget what they call it, the vary though here. You can do backing or ensemble. You're going to want these based on, like, if you're more trying to time stretch based on transients or if you're trying to, like, have, like, more of a sustained sound. So just go check it out. But you get, like, different sounds for doing those different effects the, for the vary 
settings. Anyway, guys, I hope that helped. Hope you learned something. Thanks for stopping by. Keep making music. Keep having fun. Remember, if it sounds good, it is good. And peace.